Hi everyone, welcome back to another episode of What's Your Game Plan? If you've landed on this video, you're probably interested in starting a dropship business online. Luckily, I'm a dropship expert and I can show you how to get this done. Many people think that building a dropship website is complicated and time consuming. Personally, I thought this too, but once you get it up and running, it's actually one of the simplest online business ideas ever. Stick around and I'll walk you through the entire process from scratch. Okay, so step one is to choose a dropship niche. In my experience, I've noticed the niches that do really well sell products that cater to an activity that somebody is frequently doing or a problem that somebody is frequently dealing with. If you have no idea what niche or what products to choose, I would recommend visiting wholesaletobe.com and browse through their catalog. An account with them is absolutely free and I'll show you what it looks like in the next step. I'm gonna take you behind the scenes on what you're gonna see when you get to the Wholesale To Be website. When you arrive on their homepage, you can see a little bit of information about exactly what they do. Um, they do talk about their drop shipping plans and you can see they work with a variety of e-commerce providers and they are not new to the drop shipping space. I've actually been using them for over 10 years and they're one of the most reliable companies if you're looking to get started with drop shipping right away. If you're ready to see what they have in their catalog, go ahead and click join and you're gonna be taken to this page. Fill out the entire form and sign up for free. You don't need a credit card to join and you don't need a credit card to browse. Inside of their portal looks just like this and what you'll see is a panel on the left hand side where you can select from products or look through the supplier directory. Let's go ahead and start to browse the products first. When you arrive on the product page, you can see there's a variety of options at the top for you to select from. They'll show you all the different products that they have in their inventory that you can drop ship. You can see that there's perfumes here, there's makeup, there's jewelry. You can sort this information by if you wanna see what's the highest profit items what costs the lowest to ship, what has been recently sold. You can also sort it by all of the suppliers themselves, and then you can literally peel through tons of niches that are available for you for products to drop ship. And as you can see in the low shipping items, there's 93,325 products that are shipping for either free or just little to no money. Um, and that's really good. And you can see here on the right hand side, it shows you what your wholesale cost is, as well as what your profits would be if you decide to activate a drop ship plan with wholesale to be. So filter this information by products that have the highest profits. There's 29,000 products that have very high profits and they are in all different areas and all different assortment. So just make sure you use your filters and find the one that works for you. Wholesale to be allows you to actually look at all of their suppliers in the database and as you can see here there are literally thousands of them they have so many suppliers across a variety of industries when you get to this page you can actually expand the supplier and you can read about their description how their business works their cancellation rates their return policy defective product policy all that information is given to you right away Okay, so now that you've had a sneak peek of what wholesale to be looks like, you now have to choose a dropship plan. So it's really important to pick the right plan. You can import all their products into your existing store. And for a little bit more money, you can import all the products into marketplaces like eBay, Amazon, Etsy. 
automatically. And then for just a tiny bit more, they'll make your entire dropship website for you, get your domain, your email address, everything. And you have access to over 10,000 dropship products. To me, the $49.99 is the best bang for your buck, especially for somebody who's just starting out. Once you do that, you'll go to add a dropship plan on the left hand side of the screen. And then it's going to take you through the next steps about connecting a domain, um, paying for your plan, all that good stuff. So if you decide to do everything yourself, these next steps are for you. What you have to do is make sure that you get active accounts with dropship vendors, ask them for their products, ask them for their policies, all that stuff. You have to do the manual work. And once you've been accepted into a dropship program, you need to buy a domain name and you need to buy web hosting. I prefer WordPress because it's super easy to set up and you can get your website name and the hosting in a bundle pack right from Bluehost. So once you've got your website name and you secured the website hosting, you're going to need to choose a way to get paid. You can integrate PayPal checkout, Stripe checkout, or even Square into your website. I like Square the most because they're the platform that actually allows you to accept payments via email, or over the phone, or even on the go. The account with them is free, so once you sign up, hold on to this information and give it to the web designer in the next step. Now that you're at this step, you'll want to go to fiverr.com and just search for a WordPress designer or a dropshipping website designer. You can type this in the search bar or even just search specifically for dropship websites. You'll want to filter all the people who come up and then make sure that they can complete the project within three days. Communicate your vision and your plans for the website. After that, contact designers and get the final price on what you want. With drop shipping, you're actually going to start your own brand and you're just going to sell other people's products in your store. So what you need to do is get your branding done and make sure you have a logo. 99designs has what they call the brand identity pack that will get you started right away. Right away from the jump, you're going to want to start building a list of potential customers and start sending out coupons for your store. So make sure you sign up with an email service provider. I like to use Constant Contact because they have all these email marketing automation tools that will pretty much give you some time back out of your day. Everything is drag and drop and it's super easy to use and they've already built it for e-commerce stores. Once a web designer finishes your dropship store and hands it over to you, what do you do next? Well, now it's time to generate some sales. Make sure you set up your store's social media accounts and start advertising on Google Ads, YouTube, and just about anywhere that you can get exposure to your new store. You know, making sales is not always the easiest in the beginning, but with a little bit of hard work and persistence, I believe you can do this. If you can think of any questions, feel free to drop a comment below and I'll get back to it as soon as I can. If you like this video, please give it a like and a share. And until next time, guys, take care.